is 28 prime or composite? Well, first, let's list its factors because that's what's going to tell us if a number's prime or composite. So 28 can be multiplied from 1 times 28. It can be 2 times 14. And it can also be 4 times 7. So you can see that we've got 6 different factors. That means that 28 is composite because composite numbers have more than two factors. Let's try another one. Is 29 prime or composite? Let's list its factors and that'll help us out. So 29 is only 1 times 29. That's only 1, 2 factors, so that is prime. So the definition is primes have two factors. Composite numbers have more than two. Alright, so prime factorization of 28. That means how can we multiply 28 from only prime numbers? So the best way to do that is to make a factor tree and list two factors that multiply to make 28. So we got 4 times 7. Now we circle 7 because it's prime. That's what we're looking for is the prime numbers. 4 is composite, so we have to keep going. And 4 can be multiplied from 2 times 2. 2 is prime because the only way you can make a 2 is 1 times 2. So now you take these three prime numbers, 2 times 2 times 7, and that should equal 28. You can also write it with exponents as 2 squared times 7 equals 28. And because it has more than two factors, 28 is composite. Alright, here's another one. What is the prime factorization of 29? Well, we already said that 29 is prime. So, it's finished. The only way to multiply to make 29 is 1 times 29. The prime factorization of 29 is only 29. Let's try a harder one. What is the prime factorization of 360? Okay, so I can still do this one even though 360 is not in a times table. I can look at the zero at the end and I understand that anything in a zero has to have a 10 in it. So, what times 10 makes 360? Well, that's pretty easy. That's 36. 36 times 10 makes 360. Both of these are composite, so I keep going. 10 is 2 times 5, and those are both prime. 36 is 6 times 6, or you could do 4 times 9 or 2 times 18. Both will work. Then we got 6 is composite, so that's 2 times 3. And this last 6 is 2 times 3 as well. I make sure that I circle my prime numbers, and now I write out my prime factorization. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. You can also write it with exponents. 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5. And if I multiply that out, it should equal 360. That's how you could check your work.